Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and to the weekly vlogs. I will be weekly vlogging throughout 2024. There will be two videos a week. You have already seen one, one more structured, and then one will be a weekly vlog. And I'm really excited to weekly vlog throughout an entire year and just bring you guys along with my life. It's December 28th right now. I thought I was gonna start vlogging again after the new year, but honestly, I was like, why not start early? And I missed talking to you guys. So we are back. I'm sat at my little desk right now, which I love my desk setup. You guys know that I bought an iMac and it's like my favorite purchase of 2023. I absolutely love it. My Bose headphones I use for editing. This was a Christmas gift from Jay. So he got me this little mug warmer. So it just keeps your drink warm while you're like working on the computer or something because he knows that I always have like a cold coffee when I'm editing or stuff. So such a thoughtful gift and it's pink and so cute and I love it on my desk. But right now I'm actually gonna be working on my vision board. I started working on it yesterday. So just like a bit, I haven't really done too much but I added some little quotes and whatnot into it, which I'm really liking. I wanna add some more and kind of figure it out a bit more, but I have so far just like a fitness section. This is for like vlogging and I wanna start scrapbooking, like taking um, film photos in 2024 and making like little scrapbooks. When I'm old and when I have kids, I can look back and like show them that. And then also just like a lot of trips and stuff that I want to do in 2024. I didn't travel too much in 2023, so I really wanna do more trips in 2024. Um, we already have Ireland in the works. I wanna go on a trip for my birthday in April. I'm turning 29 this year, which is a big year. It'll be my last year in my 20s. And I don't want to <laughs> spend it here. I wanna turn 29 on a beach. Jay's birthday is in June and he's never been to the United States. So I think we're gonna go there for his birthday. Um, we're thinking like New York City maybe because that's something, a place that's been on his bucket list forever as somewhere he's wanted to go and experience. I've just been doing a lot of like stuff. Like obviously my bathroom still has to get repaired. That should be happening soon. You guys can see this. There's actually a contractor coming here at some point today and they're gonna be just looking at the bathroom to get a quote for my landlord. And then also my mom's coming later today because she's just gonna come get a couple things. We're ordering a wardrobe to go on this wall for Jay's clothes. So my mom's gonna come and take this mirror back with her for now just because there isn't room for it. I'm also gonna take down my Christmas decor today. I am going to do some work. I need to email my landlord and then we're gonna do some work on our little vision board. I love my vision board. It makes me so happy making them. I'm gonna make it in my iPad background. Let's get this done. All the Christmas stuff is officially gone. Christmas is over. <laughs> not Bye. one, not one drop of Christmas in this apartment anymore until the new year, till Christmas 2024. But right now, I feel like I love the Christmas stuff for months, but then once I take it down, it's like the apartment's so fresh and clean. Everything's so fresh and sparkly. I had to put the plant here because I feel like I was so used to the Christmas tree being here that having nothing there felt like weird. I was like, it looks too empty. So I moved the plant. I feel like that makes more sense to me. We also took the mirror down because we're gonna put the wardrobe on that wall for extra storage. So that's down for now. And the bathroom hopefully will be fixed soon. Fingers crossed. <laughs> this is the worst lighting ever. <laughs> My apartment has shit lighting, if you haven't noticed, but good morning. It is the next day. I slept like the dead last night, like best sleep I've had in a long time. So don't ask me why I want to go office this morning because it makes absolutely no sense since I slept almost nine hours, but here we are. I'm really standing beside my coffee machine, just staring at it. I feel like I shouldn't. I'm just, I just crave a warm drink in the morning. It's so good. So I like just want another one, even though I know I don't need it. We're gonna make a tea instead. We're gonna make the right decision here. I don't need two coffees. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't think I'm going to. I just am sore and I plan to go for a longer run tomorrow. So I kind of want to take today off and just rest a bit before my run tomorrow. I think 6K tomorrow. I'm trying to like slowly progress because I don't want to just jump it up right away. I've only been doing 5Ks 
for the last month. I think I'm gonna run six and then see how I feel. And if I'm feeling good, then maybe we'll run seven. I had a bagel, oh my God, but I burnt it for a second there. Almost at a tragic moment, but it's okay. We did not burn it. Why can I not get so? My new kettle. <laughs> Love it. I'm so excited because I have a new pair of running shoes delivering today. I ordered them with Christmas money. Thank you, Nana. And I'm really excited about them. I'm usually pretty fine with shoes. I run typically in a shoe with a higher stability, um, but neutral's fine. I feel like I'm more of a four foot runner. Like I don't heel strike. So I find that like I'm pretty good with shoes. Like I don't find a lot of issues with them. I'm hoping that they'll be a good fit and then I can train in them for my half. I don't know what I'm gonna get up to today, to be honest. I don't feel like doing anything because it's still like those days between Christmas and New Year's where you just don't know what day it is <laughs> and don't feel like doing anything. I'm gonna make my breakfast and my tea. Mm -mm -mm. I made a right decision this morning, not having two coffees. Tea it is, baby, tea it is. All right guys, we are off now. I'm gonna go meet Jay when he's done work and walk my land. I'm pretty sure it's pissing rain, so I'm trying to tuck as much hair in as possible. There's nothing I hate more than when I do my hair and then I go out in the rain and it just ruins it. But what can you do? I also did my makeup. I'm currently obsessed with Say Beauty. I bought their bronzer and blush and, <gasps> and highlighter, sorry. The combo, <laughs> amazing. I'm sorry, get rid of all my other makeup. Look at this, look at my cheeks. Like they just look so freaking pretty. I'm gonna go. Thankfully this hoodie has like a massive hood. So it should help with the rain, but Let's go for a walk, meet up with Jay. I think we're gonna go buy toothpaste because I accidentally dropped mine um, behind the wall last night. Brilliant. Good morning. I feel like that was a fail of a vlog yesterday, but hello, welcome back. It is the next day. I have just been getting up. It's actually Saturday. It's 9.19 in the morning right now. I'm about to do my skincare. I've already had breakfast and coffee with Jay before he went to war. He's just working a few hours today, but oh. Cute. The plan for today is we're gonna go for a run, which I'm really excited because my new shoes delivered, which I'm gonna show you guys. I also have a big Amazon haul. Let's do my morning skincare. I'm just gonna wash my face quickly. So I'm using the Matcha Hem Cleanser from Crave Beauty. I'm almost through this. I feel like I have like this much left. Like it, I wouldn't repurchase though because it was just a little bit too difficult to get here and took too long and it was just not worth it, you know, for like an average cleanser. I actually bought a new cleanser for a replacement. Also just wanted to keep in the shower for now. It kind of looks like boogers, in my opinion. Like, it's kind of gross looking. <laughs> I like the quality of it, and it's not drying at all. Like, there's no stripping with this, which is nice. Today's gonna be a good Saturday. I think me and Jay might go mini padding later, too, as like a nighttime activity. Tomorrow is obviously New Year's Eve, so I think we're just gonna go, we're gonna make like a good dinner and then go and watch the fireworks. Nothing crazy, no wild night, which is honestly, perfect for me. I don't feel like having a crazy New Year's or being hungover. Flawless. I can't wait for this light to be fixed. I can't wait for this bloody bathroom to be fixed. It's driving me insane. Now I'm gonna go in with this. I got gifted this by Illumiere MD. It's the Evercare Vitamin C and E serum. It's basically like the same thing as the SkinCeuticals one that everyone uses. It's got l acid in it and it's just basically like an antioxidant serum. But I like the way that they have... Oh my god, did I go in there? Okay, it didn't actually go in. That's what happens when you um, don't have a mirror. Because <laughs> my mirror is off the wall, if you didn't know. I'm gonna put this in my hand and then apply it. But this one, like the way that it is, it comes separated and then you mix the formula yourself, which I think is great because you don't have that issue with the vitamin C as much. Like you're literally getting fresh vitamin C put into the serum instead of it coming like orange. <laughs> and already oxidized. After this one's done, I think I might repurchase possibly the Ice Clinical one, or maybe this again. I do like it. It's really expensive, so we'll see how it goes, but 
if it's some miraculous difference and it's the only expensive thing in my skincare, then it's worth it because right now I'm using very affordable items, as you guys know. Favorite moisturizer right now, it's the Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer with Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. This does not break me out. Like, I think this has made such a difference in my clogged pores since I started using it. My skin is so sensitive to, like, creams and products and stuff like that. And I just get reactions and, like little bumps to everything and then we'll go in with sunscreen i really like this one it doesn't clog my pores either it's by round lab round lab i got this online it's like a korean sunscreen they make the best sunscreens they just feel like a lotion like they don't feel like regular sunscreen does or north american western sunscreens like they're just so much better but my skin does not freak out from this one either my skin is so sensitive to sunscreens like so many Sunscreens irritate my face, but this one doesn't. And that's my skincare routine. Done and dusted. Okay, this is my bin of running clothes. I just keep all my running clothes in here because I don't really have that many winter running stuff, to be honest. You know what? I can wear these. These are new leggings. I got this from New Balance. They're running leggings. So I think I'll wear these because I haven't worn them yet. Will they fit okay? Too fleecy either, so I think they'll be good. And then I just need like a long sleeve top. I think I'm gonna wear my new running jacket. Jay bought me a new running jacket, so I'm gonna wear that. I don't feel like I'll need too many layers. Like I don't wanna overheat. Just my Lululemon black long sleeve top. I don't need that much winter running stuff. So you got your leggings, you have your long sleeves, and now that I have a running jacket, I just wear that over top of everything, so. That's the game plan. We're gonna be wearing an all black fit this morning. Get ourselves nice and ready for our run. I'm so excited. It's currently cloudy. It said it was gonna be sunny today, so I don't know if that's gonna change. Kinda of hoping it will. Okay, my Amazon package came, so let's do a little Amazon haul. First up is my Christmas present that I ordered myself with some Christmas money. It's the Hatch Restore 2 Alarm Clock. It's like a sunrise alarm clock. I've heard amazing things about it. It has sleep sounds. It like has like a nice sunrise. You have like red light therapy with this. So many different things and I'm really excited about it. I got it in the color putty and I'm definitely gonna set this up and use it to wake up tomorrow and see how it goes. I feel like I'm gonna really like it. I got some skincare goodies. So I just picked up a backup of my favorite moisturizer because I don't have very many on Amazon. It's kind of hard to get here in Canada. I only can get it on Amazon. This is the Man and Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. I love it. And then for my cleanser that I got as a little one is the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I thought I would try out the cleanser too just because I know how much I like the moisturizer. So I thought a really simple cleanser for sensitive skin would be great. So I picked up this and then I just picked up some Brita filters. So these are the elite ones, which hopefully will be good. It says replace only two times a year. That's really good. So yeah, I picked up these because my Brita filter needed to be changed and I was like, Let's just get these ones. Two times a year? Yes, please. This is a year supply of burner filters right here. Then I got a reading light for reading in bed or just reading in the evenings. This one's by the brand Glucosint. It's like a white one. And then last up, this, which came broken, unassembled, but it's the Maybelline Sky High Mascara in Brown. I just wanted a brown mascara for when I'm going for like a more natural everyday look. You know, brown mascara can be quite nice for that. So I picked up that as well. And that is my Amazon order. I'm really excited about this. I really want to open it. Come up. The packaging just looks so freaking pretty. Oh, hallelujah. Anyways, I'm gonna open this and set this up because I'm really excited about it. Or might set it up a bit later. I don't know. Maybe we'll set it up now. Should we? Hmm. Kind of feel like we should. All right, guys, I got it all set up. It looks so freaking cute. Like this is the cutest alarm clock 100% on the market. I'm gonna test it out tonight and tomorrow morning and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So I have like a whole night set up. I have like the ocean waves for me when I'm sleeping. I have like a little wind down red light therapy. In the morning, I have it set up to wake me up at 7.30 to forest birds with a slow sunrise. So I'm quite excited to see how it goes and I will let y'all know. That was a really easy setup too. You basically just plug it in and you do everything in the app. Black Friday sales, okay? I jumped on those Black Friday sales and got it. I'm gonna throw out all this junk. I made myself a tea, so I'm gonna drink that and read a bit of my book. I'm gonna read a bit this afternoon. Quite excited. Guys, it is run time, winter run. I got the whole gear on. This is the jacket that Jay got me for Christmas from the North Face. It's actually so warm, like I'm already warm in it. I have Nike running gloves that my mother and father got me. And then I have my new shoes 
Let me show you guys. So these are them. They're Sacconis. I love them. They're gray with green laces and like little pink details. They're the Endorphin Speed 3s. They were on sale for Black Friday and I just think they're so cute. I just love the green plaid laces kind of die vibe. So fun. You ready to run 6K? Let's go. Let's go. He's wearing shorts like a crazy person even though it's one degree out. All right guys, we are two kilometers in so far. 6K run for sure, not seven. And love the shoes. Have a cramp. <laughs> We ate way too close to running, even though it was still like, it was over an hour ago, but uh, yeah. still should have waited like at least two hours. <laughs> but it's okay. Just gonna do a 6K. And we're done. Jay did not dress weather appropriate. <laughs> He's still <I'm> cold. <laughs> Off we go. Shoes I give 10 out of 10. So far. So far. I said that every time. We'll see if they hurt later, but right now. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Hello. It is actually Sunday. It's New Year's Eve today. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> it's the last day of 2023. What the actual hell? How did that happen? I'm gonna go do a workout today. Last day of the year, why not get a little lift in? I'll show you guys my outfit. No, it's not very exciting to be honest, but I'm just wearing these leggings from a Buff Bunny collection. Super cute. I need to make sure that they're pulled up properly. No shoes on right now, but I'm gonna just I'm wearing this hoodie as well because I'm kind of cold. Sports bra is Lululemon. They don't really match, but they're both blue, so it goes. And then I'm not having a great hair day, so we're wearing this hat from Gymshark to hide my head. And yes, I did put makeup on to go work out. It's a lift session and I'm not really gonna be sweating. And I just felt like putting on a little bit. So we have concealer, bronzer a bit, and my brown mascara from Maybelline. This is what it looks like on my eyeballs. But we are gonna go see the fireworks and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the firework display, which will be really cool. And it should be a good day. So happy last day of 2023. What a whirlwind year. <laughs> if I could see where I am now from the beginning of 2023, I would have been like, there's no way. Do you know what I mean? It's just such a crazy year. So much has happened in my life and I'm sure a bunch of your guys' life, but I'm really happy with the way that everything has played out so far. And I feel like things are really turning around and I'm so excited for 2024. I feel like it's gonna be such a good year and I'm really looking forward to it. So that is how I'm feeling at the last day of the year. Crazy, but yeah. Let's go work out quick. 